Hello everyone, <coughs> back again with another tutorial. Uh, this time it's going to be a bit different. I'm going to do a series now where I make my own RPG game and you guys get to follow along with me. Um, so here I have the result of my other two tutorials but just cleaned up a little bit. As you can see these look a lot nicer than the character and cursor in my other tutorials. Uh, the character, red circle with the arrow, moves with the W, A, S and D keys and he looks towards, or she looks towards the, the cursor which I have replaced with little targets so I'm just going to close that um, I've also sorted it all out into layers as you can see I've got a GUI and an enemies layer as well uh, which might hint towards what, we're going to, what I'm going to be doing now which is making a piece of GUI for the character. So today I'm going to be doing a health bar and putting in an enemy. Um, I'm not going to give the enemy any AI yet. Uh, yet. That'll come later. So as you can see, I'm just making some GUI general user interface, that's what GUI stands for. Yeah, that is white. Just looks a little bit grey to me. <laughs> Don't know why, I'm just going insane. So I'm just going to highlight the GUI and click F8 to make it a symbol. Movie clip, central registration. Uh, I'm going to name it character GUI. OK. Um, I'm now going to zoom in and I'm going to make a little drawing of a character to go in the GUI so I was thinking I don't know, something like this, a bandana with an arrow on top that looks quite like what we got doesn't it? <laughs> and give it a knot at the back of the bandana um, next we want his nose his eyes and the rest of his face um, I'll give him a scarf and just a little mouth it looks sort of like it's smiling I mean if this is the hero we don't want him to look grumpy as heck uh, we're going to get the syringe tool I don't know if that's actually what it's called that's what I like to call it colour everything in red and obviously not his skin because people don't generally have red skin zoom back out to 100 um, highlight this character um, and shrink them down so that they'll fit nicely inside the character GUI. Just realise that's behind it. I'm going to control X and open up the GUI movie. And I'm going to position it so it's roughly centre. And see if it looks any better flipped. No, it definitely doesn't. It looks weird. It looks weird anyway, but that looks a little bit better. So there you go, that's the GUI done. I'm just going to move it further into the top corner. And I'm going to control X on that and put it on the actual GUI layer, which makes sense. Now, I'm going to go back into this and I'm going to draw a rectangle that's grey and dark red on the inside. And I'm going to make it not there, sorry. 
that here about yay big gonna select that it needs to be a little bit smaller so I'm gonna resize it and as most of you bright sparks have probably guessed this is going to be the health bar so I'm gonna click F8 registration point left name this character HP um, make sure it's move clip click OK line this there and I'm going to draw a text box on top of it make the size of the font as small as possible so one and make the actual text box as small as possible so let's move it uh, you can put it anywhere you want but I like to have it on top of the uh, HP bar and I'm going to give it a variable of HP um, I'm going to right click the frame that we put in the code on as you can see I've already got the mouse hide I'm just going to add stop and I'm also going to add HP is equal to 100 that's basically saying that text box is equal to 100 now I'm going to enter this movie again right click the HP bar and type on clip event bracket enter frame close bracket open squiggly bracket this dot underscore x scale so it's scale by x is equal to underscore root not toot root dot hp times bracket 100 so that's 100 percent divided by 100 that second 100 is the amount of health that your uh, character has and then on a new line if bracket underscore root dot hp is less than or equal to um, zero then underscore root hp will equal zero that's to stop it going negative and like disappearing off the back of the screen um, which is what would happen there um, now we're going to put if bracket underscore root dot hp is greater than or equal to 100 then underscore root dot hp is equal to 100 and that basically stops um, the health going past 100 uh, for like when we add in potions later now we need to add in something that's going to actually cause damage to the uh, player so let's just draw a rectangle or a square even better highlight that uh, I'm going to control X that because we're still inside of the GUI movie clip. I'm going to go onto the enemies layer and paste it. And I'm going to press F8, convert it to a symbol, center. I'm going to name it enemy. I'm going to click OK, give it an instance name of enemy. And I'm going to right uh, double click it uh, F6 to create a new frame um, select that frame F8 enemy attack ok 
uh, new layer one two three and I'm going to just add some droplets of blood because this is going to be the enemy's attack animation I'm going to put onion skin on just so I know where the previous drops of blood are You don't have to do this, this is just, I like aesthetics. And I've just realised this is going to go really fast, so I'm just going to drain out. And there's an attack animation. And now we come out of the movie clip, so we're just on the main main stage. We're going to right click the enemy, actions, and we're going to type on clip event bracket enter frame close bracket open squiggly bracket if underscore root dot char dot hit test bracket this so if the character hits this then underscore root dot hp is going to minus equal to two so it's going to take away two health and it's also going to go to and stop frame 2 which is the attack frame so if the character hits this enemy it's going to take away 2 health from the character and go to the attack frame else go to and stop 1 if it's not attacking it just go to its stationary frame. So let's test all of this and see if we've made any mistakes. Apparently not. As you can see we've got the HP up there. When we walk on top of the enemy it takes away the HP and it won't go past zero. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We'll be continuing this next time. Actually taking the character to another frame when you lose all of your HP. Um, adding AI to the enemy so it can follow you about and a lot more basically developing our RPG game thank you for watching um, and I'll probably put the code in in the description if not you can just copy it from the video but I'd advise you to learn it that's why I do go through it slowly so you guys can actually learn to code uh, I used to just copy code off the of tutorials but it doesn't get you anywhere you're just going to make a generic game that someone else has made before uh, it's a lot of fun learning code anyway so uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial if there's any questions put them in the description below okay thank you bye